Welcome to 3ABN Kids Camp for Ready, Set, Explore, where we search nature out and have fun without a doubt. I'm your host, JB Scout, and we're going to talk about health and health awareness. That is so important today that we're healthy in more than one way. So what are some of the ways that we can be healthy? Yes, Jackson. Eating good food. Eating good food, yep, we talked about that. That's great, yeah, Leah. Exercising. Exercising, that is so important. Yes. Have a great sleep. Have enough, so how many hours of sleep is a good amount for you, you think? Maybe at least 12 hours. 12 hours, oh my goodness, I would love, wouldn't you love 12 hours of sleep? Well, I know I would. What about you? Um, you have to eat good stuff. Good food, yep. yep. Good healthy food, yep. Like not always like um, watch TV or yep. like read books and do yep. other things. Very good, things. different things. It's good for your eyes, yep. And um, drink a lot of water. Drink, thank you, drinking a lot of water. You know what, I do not do well at drinking a lot of water. What? Wanna know why? I get focused in something so much that I lose track and then I wonder why is my mouth so dry? And sometimes when you don't drink enough water, you get tired. You ever get really tired and then you drink water and you're like, wow, I feel a lot better now. Well, okay, what else? Yes, Esther. Education. Education, education. That's good for like mental health, right? That is so important. Yes, Jackson. Um, my good sleep is probably 12 hours and 30 minutes. 12 hours and 30, not 20, not 12 hours and 29 minutes. 12 hours and 30, <laughs> no, that's good. Very important, yeah, Hannah. Um, reading the Bible in the morning and praying. Oh, how important is that? You know, what I find is when you read your Bible and talk with God in the morning, the Lord will give you what you need for the rest of the day. And when you plan accordingly like that, your day goes so much better. Yes. Hiking. Hiking. Well, that's kind of like exercise, right? And you know what I find about exercising and hiking is when you get out in nature and you spend time in creation and what God has made for us, you get to see a little bit of the character of God. Have you ever thought about hiking in the woods and seeing the character of God, seeing the birds fly around, seeing the crickets, seeing other animals that you would not see normally in, in your busy life, especially with school, and I'm sure they talk about nature and fun stuff like that. But those things are very important. Yes, Christine. Just going outside to get fresh air. Yes, you know, that is so important. Fresh air is so critical because our brain needs oxygen, right? And without oxygen, we're just gonna fall asleep. And we don't wanna do that, right? Because when you're in school, you need to learn as much as you can because right now you're sponges and you need to gather as much information as possible. Okay, well, I wanna talk about things that may help us and you've shared a lot of good things, what helps us to stay healthy, okay? So how about when we go on a hike and we prepare for the hike, what are some of the things that we need to prepare for? Yes, Jackson. First aid kit. A first aid kit, absolutely. I think someone needs to get a first aid kit. Okay, can someone get a backpack over there? Someone get a backpack, okay. Right over there, bring that backpack over here. Okay, so we need to have a first aid kit. Okay, what else? Yes. Uh, a tent. A tent, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable sleeping in a, in a kind of a safe environment, protected environment. Yes, Esther. Water. Make sure you have water. Or, and, or you're near water. And you're near water. You know, sometimes you need to plan your trip to make sure you have enough water or like you said, Hannah, that you need to have enough water so when you get to that next location, you have water that you can gather. Make sure you have a good filter like we talked about. Yes, Lionel. Yeah. You have to gather food. You have to gather food. Make sure you have enough food, okay. Um, you have to bring like blankets or 
You have to bring clothes. B make sure you have the right clothes, right? You can bring clothes, but make sure you have the right clothes. Oh yeah, yes. I was gonna say water. Water, very good. That is super important. So I'm gonna go back on clothes because that is critical and that's something that we all need to remember very carefully. In the summertime, cotton is your friend. And cotton kind of ab absorbs the moisture in your body and it kind of cools you off. Now, is cotton good when you're in the mountains, when it's cold? Um, yeah. Cotton shirts. Cotton, they say what they say, cotton kills when you're in the mountains, okay? So when you're in the mountains and it's cold, you wanna wear more animal type of material like wool, right? Wool is really important. Cotton, you do not wanna wear. Um, some synthetic uh, materials you can wear in the mountains like fleeces and things and we'll talk about that in another um, program. But yeah, that is very important, yes. Um, I have a cotton phobia, so. You have a what? Cotton phobia. You have a cotton phobia? Wow, well, I, I've not heard about that, but that's okay. Okay, so um, what happens, since we're talking about health awareness, what do you do when you're hiking and you get cut? Yes. Um, like get out your first aid kit. Get out your first aid kit, and then what do you want to do in your first aid kit, what do you want to take out and do? Like you want to get stuff to like antibiotics to put on it. And antibiotics? Like and wrap it. Right. Put pressure on it. Put pressure on it. What about rinse it out with water? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes. After you do all of those things, put a Band-Aid on. Put a Band-Aid on? Absolutely. So wouldn't it be good to have like a first aid kit and plan for some of these things? Because you don't know that there may be a rock that you didn't see and you tripped over and you scratched your knee up and you wanted to make sure you get all that mud out, rinse it out and get that ointment that you can find in the first aid kit, put that on and then put a Band-Aid on it. Well, let's get our first aid kit in our backpack. And here's a well-established first aid kit for those times that we need help. So let's look in it and we find that we have Band-Aids, which are really important. And then we have charcoal tablets, which we'll talk a little bit later. And we have gauze and we have tape. These are some of the items that are very helpful in establishing a good first aid kit for those times that you need when you either scratch yourself or you have fallen and you hit a rock with your knee and you need to stop the bleeding. So these are some of the things that are very helpful when you um, go on a hike and be prepared for those times that we need them. What happens if you get a rash? What are some of the things that you wanna do? Put yes. Some rash medicine on. Yep, put some, okay, so what type of rash medicine? So first thing you want to do is you want to get water and just rinse it off, right? So a couple of the things that I found would be helpful is charcoal. Have you ever used charcoal for things like that? Yeah. You know what charcoal does? What does charcoal do? Oh, I know. Yes. It makes fire. For, well, it's, it's after the fire, right? Charcoal, you can have that black stuff that's in the bottom of the pit. And ashes, that's part of charcoal, yep. So charcoal, what charcoal does is it absorbs things. So let's say you get a sick stomach, you can take charcoal and you can ingest it and it's not gonna hurt you. You just don't wanna do a lot of charcoal because you know things that you eat, all those minerals, the charcoal will just absorb it. And you wanna make sure that what you eat goes for your body and activity and all that you know, gives you energy. But charcoal is super important for you when you get a sick stomach. And it could come in either a tablet or it can come in a charcoal little brick or you can get in a, in a, uh, a powder form, which is very helpful. And there's moderation in everything. It's all about balance, right? You wanna have a little charcoal if you have a little tummy ache. If you need more, you take more. But you also wanna talk with your mommy or your daddy or your grandma or grandpa, whoever is with you adult, to make sure they understand what's going on. What about a snake bite? What if you get close on the trail and there's a snake behind you? What are you gonna do? Yes, uh, Hannah. Maybe like 
grab something to put pressure on it or to stop it? Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to squeeze it out as much as you possibly can because you want to get that venom out of your skin and then wash it off. And then charcoal is going to be very important. You just put as much charcoal you want because what does the charcoal do? Absorbs. It absorbs, that's right. So charcoal is super important and it's easy to, you can take it with you in little tiny capsules. So if you have a sick stomach, you can just take it and adjust it and drink some water or you just break it up and put it right on your, your bite. Yes, Leah. How do you get rid of the snake to get off your like cut? So, yeah, so with the snake bite, you need to go to the doctor right away. So you need to, like, go down the mountain and but sneak. How do you, like, take the snake off of you? Well, usually they just bite and then they go away because you, threat you got too close to them. And so they don't really want to be around you, but that's their then why reaction. Then they come to you? They come to you because you got too close to them and you scared them. Because like some snakes, they may be in the sun, just laying out, taking a beautiful nap, and here we come in the woods and we're going and we're running through, and they didn't wake up that yet. And so we just scared them. And then their first reaction is to bite. So you wanna be aware of your surroundings. And that's another good thing for health awareness, right? You wanna be aware of your surroundings. If there's something like a snake that is like 10 feet away, what do you want to do? You want to go around it, right? You want to keep that distance. Yes, Jackson? What if you're in the middle of the mountains? You can't do anything if there's nothing. Even if you're in the mountains, you want to seek medical um, help right away. That's so important. And your mommy and daddy will tell you that, but it's something that you need to think of right away that you need to act fast when these things happen. Okay. Okay, so let's deal with what about food poisoning? What if, what if, and I know you're not gonna do this, but what if you saw a plant and you thought this would be good to eat and you got sick? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Remember what we talked about? What's the first thing you do? Yes. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital, but before you do that? Um, yes. You can eat some of the charcoal. Eat some of the charcoal, absolutely. Boy, you guys are smart. That's awesome. Okay, so here's some three golden rules that you need to consider, okay? Number one is three minutes without breathing. If you did three minutes without breathing, that's a problem. What about three hours with proper shelter? You gotta make sure that you're less than three hours without shelter, especially when it's cold, okay? What about three days without water. Oh, I never can do it. That would be terrible, right? So how do you, how do you prevent yourself from these type of situations? Yes. Um, you could exercise a lot more. How about, yes, how about preparing? When you get ready to go on the trip, you wanna prepare, right? And it's always good to prepare for each situation. No matter what you're doing, it's gonna be important. Okay, so I wanna bring to you a Bible verse that comes to mind, and it's in Psalms 27, 14, and says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Make sure that you strengthen your heart with the Lord. And the first thing, when you get into trouble, what are you gonna do? Pray to Jesus, because he will have the answer for you. And that is for you as well. When you get into a tough situation, make sure you ask Jesus to help you right away. Well, I want to thank you for joining us on Kids Ready, Set, Explore. You ready to go, kids? Let's explore. See you later.